What's up guys, Millennist here, back with another video and today we will be doing homemade oblique pen holder. The tools you will be needing are very cheap, less than $5. As you see those are the tools that you will be needing and it's basically some small tin covers from uh, some food if you eat beans or tuna or something like this. I have here some different ones. Then you need some cheap brushes, those are really cheap brushes, I found them in a $1 shop and they cost less than a dollar actually. Um, you need the scissors to cut that tin, a box cutter to make an incision in the wood. We need also small round pliers, like these ones, and some nips. You you don't need oblique pen holders apparently. If you had, you don't need to make yourself. But uh, I'm gonna be using those ones just to see the angle of the metal thing. That. You put the nip on. Uh, was how it's called in English. So let's get started. First step, you take the brush. You have to break the the top part of it. You start cutting with the box cutter or a scalpel if you have. You simply start cutting an incision in the wood, like shown in the video. It, it, this is maybe the hardest part from everything about making this oblique pen holder because it takes some time to cut deep and to make space for the metal part which you gonna add later but cut in and keep cutting okay I'll leave this for now then we take the pin cover and cut like me it's about uh, two centimeters wide Then you need to fold it. You take the nib and then, or first take the pliers and uh, yeah, follow us in the video. Sometimes I don't know how to say it in English. And it's basically shaping the metal part to fit the nib. Starting a second one, I'm gonna be making two oblique holders in this video. Well, if you haven't seen something, you can double see, double check now. It's a very easy do-it-yourself pen because it doesn't require much more expensive materials and it takes literally less than 10 minutes if you're making just one pen you can make it maybe in 5-6 minutes and of course this is a very basic form I mean if you want you can go much more professional and as example of here it's yolk pens it has some video which you can check here as well, there will be link in the description below. And yeah, the first one, I, I place the nip in the in the end, exactly where is the where is the metal is falling. 
and then I saw um, my oblique pen holder that then it is not exactly in the end where it falls so I decided the second one to make it more like Kalem Kess oblique pens holder and here is where the trouble starts of course you cut the metal parts be really, really small but it's fitting the metal parts into the wood this is where you realize if you haven't cut good enough let's see go back to cutting deeper and longer Good, be at least two three centimeters down, and maybe about oh, half or oh, six seven millimeters deep in the incision itself. But I'm not professional, I'm just a fan, and I know how to make this. I don't remember where I saw this story or how I came up with it, but it's it's fun. And especially if you're someone who cannot afford an oblique pen holder, I think this is a great opportunity for you to have one now. And I do encourage you guys to, even if you have an oblique pen holder, just try to make one of yourself, just to see what you're gonna come with and if it's gonna be working properly. Plus it's always fun to have something made by yourself, right? I know adjustments are almost good to go it's a very simple oblique pen holders that's why I'm using glue of course if you want to make a better one you can use some screws and make some holes and stuff like this more advanced here i hope you just get the basics and from there on you go crazy and as on the tutorial on the website i'll say here as well feel free to email me your results pictures or videos your pens at info at calligraphymasters.com and if I collect enough pictures or videos or both I'll make another video just to show your result guys so that will be really cool and I really did this in just on the go I was not really preparing to make a fancy even though I could make it, it's cheap, but still it could be fancy and like more professional, but... I'm adding some universal glue. And, uh, to the metal part and the wood, so it doesn't go out. Because this is a very basic uh, pen itself and you know, the metal needs to stay there. Yeah, that's it. Just let it dry and it's, once, it's, once it's dry, you're ready to go for your Spencerian script. There are some other ways where you can have easy oblique pen holder. Those are results by people who send me their own versions. I, as you can see they use toothbrush as a holder and this is also a really cool version I like. This is with wood, this is more professional and this is really nice with chopsticks, this is really nice, easy to make but the thing with it, I didn't realize before but last night when I started editing this video I saw on the picture as you can see here, the nib is not really in the correct position because of the design of the sticks, I might be wrong but I think it's not exactly as good as it looks. And this is the last 
pen holder which was sent to me a few days actually ago now again on my email info at calligraphymasters.com I'll put links to all the artists who made their public pen holders in the description and if you made it so far in the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button let me know what you think in the comments and uh, subscribe as always but this time please guys turn on notifications if you want to see the newest videos that are coming on this channel this will help a lot thanks for watching and till next time